Hello everyone and welcome back to Chris's Collection. Today's episode, well, we're going into uh, Kingdom Hearts, the original, the first Kingdom Hearts game. Uh, so journey back, gentle viewer, to the year uh, 2002? Yeah, it was 2002. And, um, might have been, no, yeah, it was 2002. And, uh, this game, I had heard of it, I knew it was coming out, and I just thought, that is so cool. That's so weird, but that's my kind of weird. <laughs> it was just such a cool idea that it was Disney and, well, I mean, now they're Square Enix, but Squaresoft, you know? Like, together. Uh, for the first time. Um, and uh, it was just a, a beautiful marriage of the characters and everything and um this was a game that my sister and i really connected to we would play this all the time it became a game that she was like don't you dare play this game without me you know she was very much like we have to play this together i i don't want you to play this without me and i said all right sure sure of course of course and i did i i never played it without her um it was definitely something that we we played and um oh god it was just so fun for us to to do um actually uh I, yeah i the way i bought it nothing special i think i went to like a planet x and i bought the strategy guide with it because again i was just getting all these games in 2002 because i had no friends and uh my sister and i we connected uh, and became a lot more friendly with each other because we were you know playing all these things um while we were you know kind of friendless so to say but um yeah, so, um, and I think I even got the strategy guide with it, because that's how it was, man. You, you bought the strategy guide. Online guides weren't as great, and even with the strategy guide, I got stuck on two parts, I remember. The first part was Maleficent, when she turns into a dragon. Spoilers, by the way, for this game. And the second one was, um, uh, at the very, very end, I couldn't beat the final boss. And, um... Couldn't beat the final boss, and uh, uh, I remember I quit. I'm like, I just can't do it. And my sister was like, no. She's like, I need to find out. And I was so proud of her. She beat the game. She beat the final boss. I was so proud. She's like, well, what are the controls? Show me. And I showed her, and she's like, I got this. And she did, man. She fucking beat the game. I was so proud of her. And we got to see the ending. Uh, and we were just so stoked for, for the next, you know, Kingdom Hearts that... that would come out what was it for four years later yeah it was 2006 when the sequel came out um so yeah that was kind of like the whole ordeal and uh uh we would play it together for a few hours after school every day it was like three or four hours we would play kingdom hearts and then kind of like go about our thing and it was really cool um and then as kind of like a ps to the story i remember i was in my creative writing class and there's these two girls, one of which I had kind of like a crush on. She was really cute. And she was just so cool and interesting because she would like read these like really adulty books, you know, and, and I was young. So I'm like, man, that's an adulty book. And she was a senior and I was a sophomore. And I'm like, God, she's older. She's so pretty. And, you know, and uh, she, um, yeah, I remember she, she was into Kingdom Hearts also. I'm like, you're into Kingdom Hearts. And I think that was the first time I really started viewing women differently uh in the sense of i i didn't see them as just like because you know when you're a young man and if you're into girls anyway at least for me i was like oh man i want to like i just gotta fuck you know it's like it's just like you really want to fuck or whatever uh because that's what your hormones are just screaming at you when you're a teenager and, um, but I really started viewing it a little bit differently. I was like, man, like, I would love to have someone like that, that I could just have these intimate conversations with, and just, like, all this other stuff. And then I think that was, like, the birth of me, because I, I think women are so fucking cool. I really do. I have, I, I just, very, I'm very interested in, in women in, in ways that, that are not sexual. You know, like, my wife, I love her, and... And there's definitely some sexy there, but, um, you know, like, what I mean is I, I just find women really interesting. Um, and I, I like talking to them and learning and 
understanding, you know, their perspective a lot more. Because I don't know shit, you know, about, like, you, you truly never know everything about the opposite sex. Even if you, you don't, you know, unless you, you live in their shoes, like that kind of thing. But, um, alright guys, so that's going to be it for this one, but, um... Yeah, uh, thank you so much for watching. We will be back uh, later this week. This is kind of like that weird transitional week where it turns into August, so we have like an extra video that's coming up. But we will be back um, later this week uh, to, to finish up um, this week of Chris's collection. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Take care.